Today was the day of the floor trial. I competed a floor routine for the first time in a pretty long time. If you watched the previous vlogs, you know how hard I've been working on this floor routine and how much it's been progressing since even last year. So right now, I'll talk through that floor routine with you guys. So let's get watching this. I felt really good today. I felt really confident that I could go through this routine and pretty much pull off a really decent score and hopefully get on top uh, of, the, of the rankings. I was training it well. I had done clean floor routines last week and really good um, clean tumbles yesterday, uh, preparing for today. So we start the routine nice and confident. Boom, two and a half twist, stick. That's exactly the way you want to start a floor routine. Then going into this next tumble, full twist, double front. <laughs> if there's ever a way you want to just tire out your legs for the rest of the routine, stumble backwards out of a double front, that really, really is effective for tiring your legs out. But I still stayed on my feet, so I'm happy still with that. And now it was time to make up for those deductions I gathered on that stumble with good landings for the rest of the routine. So I really, really tried to land well. Three and a half, juicy, not much issues, just a step forward. Straight double twist, that's better, that land is better. Normally I take a big step forward out of that and even step out of the floor, but I'm glad that I got it kind of on my feet. There's a little couple of feet shuffles there that need to be taken out, but still happy with that. Stick the double twist on the side, which I always should. Russians are my thing, so you know I got to be doing those non-deductible, which I think they were pretty non-deductible. Two and a half backwards to a decent landing. Uh, you know, a point one hop on that is, yeah, I'll take that for sure. And my legs actually weren't as tired as I thought they would be after that stumbled, so I was like, right, one more tumble to go. I need to stick this triple twist if I want to be within the, the range of scores between the two other gymnasts. And I think that might have been my mistake here. Too much block, under rotated, the triple twist. Yeah, that was a mistake. Because I wanted to stick that landing so bad, I, I went for a really shallow block on the uh, after the round off. And then that meant that I just didn't get enough rotation to be upright on the landing. So I landed really low. I tried, I really did. I, I didn't even put my hands on because I didn't want to like put them down when they weren't necessary. So I kept my hands up and tried to stay on my feet, but it just wasn't happening. I was really annoyed about that because I know that every single time I can put a triple twist on my feet, but it was just, that I was going for the stuck landing. That was my downfall. <sighs> the emotions are fresh. I'm literally just in from training and I'm, re I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. It's not just my competitive side of me uh, wanted to come out on top of those trials um, and I knew that I was capable of doing that with the good routines I'd done last week. But it just shows it's still a work in progress. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was again the highest difficulty floor routine there today and honestly I don't regret that because I know that to make those major finals and place on the podium at those important competitions I need a high difficulty. 15.9 uh, start value is a high difficulty and it was certainly challenged for medals so I don't feel like downgrading the routine is on the cards, especially because individually I can do all of the skills together and again in the routine I've been doing clean routines. So making those skills more and more consistent is the aim of the game now. I won't be doing floor at the World Cups because this was the trial, but it means that I can just build on those numbers, get that more difficult routine very consistent and then when it's ready it will certainly be ready to, to place me in a European or World Final and I'm excited for that. But listen, I'm happy to put that behind me. Learn from the lessons. There is a full week of training ahead of me and I'm excited for that. So let's get a bit more positive, Reese, and have a good week of training.
It's this time of the year where we get like our annual medical screenings done. So me and the homies are in the institute. We get to see doctors, get our bloods done, get the get the MOT on the old bodies and see if we're healthy. It's a really cool thing to be able to get done and um, a grateful position to be in that we're able to get this done too. So what we're about to do now is a sleep clinic where a uh, sleep, what would you call her? I would say... Expert, a sleep expert sleep is expert going to give us some tips and educate us on how to get the best out of our sleep to help us with our performance. So what does normal sleep in athletes look like? Um, and I suppose this is what we're aiming for. A lot of us are, are hip sitting below the lash, but... So now we're at a nice stage in the floor program where my body is physically prepared to do floor. And I can now focus a little bit more on the skills that weren't working in the routine or some other upgrades and individual skills. So it's a fun time on floor. That's this video wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed it. It was mostly based around that trial on floor. And although it didn't go to plan, we know that we can be excited for the future. The next video I make will be exclusive to the Patreon members. So if you want to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. So I hope everyone has a great day. I hope you stay positive and keep smiling. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.